We can. Are we open? The seats up. The cucumber looks good. That's what you want. Like this. Is that really what you want? Well, what do you want? You're being picky. What are you looking at? Should I get salted peanuts or salted cashews? You should get, do they have like honey roasted? They have honey cashews. Honey roasted peanuts. Yeah, those would be good. Okay. And then fruit snacks. Do we need any, do you want anything else? Um, I like Chex Mix on the plane. Chex Mix, do we need water? I got a water. Or do you want popcorn? Uh, we thought we were gonna be late because we didn't do priority check-in, which is what we normally do. And it was and the line $12, and I was like, oh, we should do that. Like, we like, should no. have done it. Honestly, though, it's fine. It's fine. We're That's still silly. early. That's because we got here two hours early. We said goodbye to Ella. Devin's gonna be watching her. Miss her. She's being so sweet this morning. It's like kind of already hot, so I'm kind of scared. When we land, I feel like I'm gonna have like sweat stains we'll in We'll have to take this sweatshirt off right Like it's, it's like 110. Yeah, I'm not ready. And then we're gonna go to the hotel. We got the itinerary set and everything, so we know what the plan is. Yeah. We don't have anything to do today, so we honestly might just go out and tan and like eat food. Yeah, we should. Tan, eat food, take it square pigs. Yeah. So, so it'll be chill. We got caribou, we got our normal thing. It's like a ritual every time we, we travel, I swear, but chilled for like maybe 20 minutes. No, like we said, we were kind of running a little bit behind because TSA took longer than I feel like it normally takes. Yeah, 40 now. We'll check back in probably mid-flight or when we land. So we just got off the flight. It was only like two hours, two and a half hours actually. I thought it was gonna be a lot longer, but literally Lex and I slept the entire time. <laughs> I'll insert a picture of what I look like probably the entire flight because I got my travel necessities on lockdown, but it is hot here and I'm not ready for it. And I hate coming to new airports because no airport is as nice as MSP. Like I've never been to an airport as nice out of all the airports I've been to. It has the most food options, it's the most cleanly, It's not under construction. Alexi's going to the bathroom, then we're gonna get an Uber and go to our hotel. I kinda like that they gave us a day to chill, like a half a day to chill and get settled in before we're like shooting. So it kinda sucks because our flight is not till like p.m., like late p.m. and we got nothing to do. As far as work goes, I don't really like exploring like that because it's just Lexi and I. It's kinda scary when it's just like the two of us and like we're girls and stuff like that so we just don't really like going to do that we did ask if we could leave like earlier but, but i'm excited so yeah it's already so hot here just landed it's a quick flight but yeah now we're on the way to the hotel we'll see you guys there show you the room yeah so far so good i don't know what to expect because i've never been to texas but so far so good we, how much was your luggage? I think your luggage was more than mine. Mine was like mine 50. Was, mine was 59. Mine was like 58.5, which is like fine. We knew it was gonna be overweight with like the base, you can tell, the base luggage, which, I mean, it was better than last time. At the same time, um, so we flew Sun Country, which was honestly fine, because we sat up closer in the front, so we had more room. Tell me why, it was only $20 extra for like it being yeah. pretty much almost 10 pounds over, and every single time we fly Delta, it's like 100. That is crazy. Like tan, and then maybe like go get something to eat. Yeah, I think that would be good. Okay. Um, we just got to the hotel, but we can't check in till three, and it's one, which kind of sucks. I have to stay here for two hours. I don't have like any content to edit, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. But we're just gonna chill, I guess. Yeah, 
so um update let me put this somewhere update um we finally got into our hotel room but um i lost my business card with my wallet in it like i literally can't find it like the last time i remember i had it at the airport and i had to get it out so many times like because we had to eat <sighs> and but anyways we're kind of irritable because we just had to wait like an extra hour hour and a half to get in our room and then it was really muggy when we got in here i don't know if we're gonna do a room tour because it's kind of like i don't know it's just a hotel it's not like super nice i mean that's like it's okay i shouldn't complain not like a high rise or anything with a crazy view normal hotel room but i think lex and i might go try and find the pool and tan but we're just probably gonna get settled and stuff like that for now since we just got back but i think we're really gonna try and ask to get a flight back wednesday night because when we first got here they were super stressed because we had to wait because they were fully booked so i guess they're being super strict on checkout times and our flight is until like 10 and checkout time is 12 like i have nothing to do here no one to stay with like it just does not make sense for us to be here that long especially when they're not shooting anything and ella's at home we move in a week like i gotta edit this video like it just it's not making sense so hopefully we can get something back because it's just necessary like but yeah i don't know if it's just me but whenever i arrive places i always feel the need to like look for like cameras and shit because i don't know why that just looks like a door like somebody could just come in and like take us like I just feel the need to have to look for cameras I don't need any weird stuff to happen it's so like humid too like I can feel the moisture in the air <laughs> yeah cuz when we first got in here the door was open that's so sketch like the heat and me losing my business card like this is a trip like for business this is how i like like buy my ubers and everything stupid i should just kept everything in here that's what i get for doing that i literally don't know when it could have fallen out either i don't know and this hotel just doesn't there's, there's no bedding on the like the bed's not made like i just feel like this hotel is not nice and don't say that honestly. it's not it's just sketch. I just feel like everything that's led up with you using your card, us having to wait, the door being open when we come, the bed not being fully made, like it just kind of sets a precedent right away when you first get somewhere. We're still excited for the shoot and we're so grateful to be here, but I know that I deserve more than a cracked door and a bed that's not made, which isn't on EHP, it's on the hotel, but still like just kind of shitty. It puts you in like a damp mood, you know what I'm saying? Like, imagine, and it's damp as hell in here too, and I'm not used to the fucking humid, so it's, it's like pissing me off that it's like my skin is sticky. And like I even feel like if I it's smell. like work related, but it, like even if you go on like a vacation, like you want your shit to be ready, you want it to like, I don't know. I feel like this happened though the last time. It did happen. We have good. I feel like we have good flight experiences, but we have bad, bad hotel. Experiences. Yeah, we have bad luck when it comes to hotels. Besides Mexico. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit of an update. Do not mind my hair. It's in the midst of drying, but I have it back in the headband. Max and I are getting ready, and we're going to go try seafood boil for the first time because we never had one. Because um, I don't think they really have many shops like that, but not even in Minneapolis, in Minnesota in general. So we're going to try one of those, and then we're going to go to a Whole Foods to get some like snacks and groceries and stuff. So we just have food here in case we want it, but... I think that's the plan. We're just gonna chill. We didn't get outside to tan. The UV went down at like three, so it just really wasn't the vibe. Cause, or no, the UV went didn't go down to three. It went to seven. But yeah. Situations will arise in our lives, but you gotta be smart about it.
I had said earlier, just so that we're not like Uber eating a bunch of food. So, do you want it? No. No. I feel like we should get like something. Yeah. Those ones mix. Pomegranate seeds. They're good for like bloating. What else? What? Any trail mix? Oh, that might be good. Yeah. Or blood orange. guys like said i just came back so we're gonna give you a little haul of what we all got i've never been to whole foods so and there is one in minnesota i'm just surprised there's the a bunch of minnesota yeah i'm just surprised the first one that i am able to go to is in texas i'll start so first first some sweets we got these um fudge stripe crackers Wait, Should we it says plant-based smart sweets i know these i know these are good but but i really only like the swedish fish ones I like the watermelon ones and the gummy worms. And I like the hard candy they have too. I didn't know this was plant based. It's definitely plant based. A bottle of water. We got some pretzels and some granola bars. Again, just some snacks to have. And we, we can like bring them snack. tomorrow too. Yeah, just for some pomegranate seeds. We got four of these Chubani, like little things just so we can have in the morning they have 20 grams of protein I want something to drink other than water and we should have got pop or uh olipop, olipop but we saw this and we grabbed it good morning you guys it is day one here in houston we slept okay um i think because we woke up at four we should have went to bed earlier go eat breakfast quick we have a few like things that we want to film this morning and they want us to be like on time so we need to leave here about eight o'clock gives us like an hour 45 to like get ready and everything tried to like pack our bags last night there's a few outfit changes but i slept pretty good my bed at home is comfier to be honest but i think it's just because we woke up so early yesterday should have went to bed earlier we will see y'all when we are getting ready and we'll show you what we have to pack because based on the itinerary there's two outfit changes and then we just have like our bags to pack of everything anyways i'm touching up my hair with the camille rose this stuff is lex and i's favorite it's just it's so good and then i'm going in with this we dad I don't know, oi dad, oi dad. In humidity gel. This is like, if you live in a humid place, this is a, a discovery that my hairstylist put Lexi and I on and it was life changing. At least for the summer because it really like makes the difference. Actually you guys, well by the time you're seeing this, literally the day of, I'll be getting braids for the very first time, like period. Like not Lexi and I have done them, um, nothing. My very first time, so when moving vlog comes, you will see my hair, which I'm super excited for. You, uh, <coughs> that smells like alcohol. I was not ready. It's too early in the morning for this. And this hairstyle is cute, so I'm hoping it like works out today. Just the edges. This is my favorite edge control and it smells delicious. Ew, this is such bad lighting. It's so humid. It is. I kind of look crazy right now, but I just wanted to update you guys. Um, we got ready. I will share with you guys our get ready with me's because we both filmed them. So I'll probably insert those.
It is so cute in here. I'm fine with dry heat, but also some else. It's hell room. Thermostat is set to 60. Like, what's going on? But we're on our way to meet up with Paige and we're gonna head over to Elfland and I'm nervous now. <sighs> There's just a lot of people, I don't know. Okay, update you guys. Um, so we went to Elf Land. It was something. It was something. It was very busy. I don't even know what words to describe it. It just I didn't feel weird like holding my tripod or anything or having a camera. That's like the one thing I did like. But overall, I just wasn't used to the amount of people. So I got a lot of social anxiety and then we were shooting and that was fine. Everybody was so nice. Like all the other like EHP athletes that we met. It was a really good time. Photographer Paris, like she was doing her thing. So I think overall it was like pretty good. Um, I would probably never <laughs> get like I could I could never like work out there I feel like I wouldn't get a good workout because I couldn't consecutively go to each machine that I wanted to use or I, I don't know but overall like I understand why people do like work out and film content there because you won't feel ever like feel judged or anything like that being there. It's like around 1 or 1.30 which we just got done so it was actually pretty early. So I think we're going to plan on going to get some food and then we can kind of chill, relax, edit content, whatever. Yeah, it was it was it was good. We met a lot of people that we follow like Cranon, Elena Christine, like Hannah and Amanda, like everybody, like we met a lot of people. Um, so yeah, we're gonna shower and then get ready to go eat. I'm pretty sure because I'm hungry. I don't know what they where they plan on eating, but I need to eat because my stomach hurts. So I'm just having one of the Chobani. Is it good? Mm -hmm. But yeah. Oh, I said Camry first, actually. I was like, yes, they're gonna be up there. Okay. okay. It is entirely the next day. It is day two. Last night, we were just so exhausted. We were in the sun. We were shooting. We got some grub. You guys probably saw a little bit of it. And then we chilled a bit. And then we went to dinner. Um, we went to this burger place. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I'm not like a burger person. Going to another EHP Labs um, shoot. This one's actually at an Airbnb for us. Some of them are going to be at Elfland as well. But I'm excited for this one. I'm excited to see the Airbnb. I think we're going to be cooking some stuff. And y'all know me. Um, getting ready over there. I It's so fun not having to do my hair. One thing, though, that I realized, I kind of wish I maybe got a different color for my braids. I wanted light brown. That's what I went for. But the colors just didn't look what they looked like online. But anyways, that's besides the point. Our team dinner got moved 
two tonight. Which I feel like we should bring them too. Yeah, so we probably will bring you guys to that. I think we're going to be dressing like a little bit nicer. Maybe heels, maybe dress, something, something. So I'm excited, but we're just going to get ready. We ordered a tropical smoothie, which was good. We got like a little breakfast burrito. Well, we just ate in bed, but y'all would not want to see. We got the um, Berry Bliss. Anna's getting ready. My hair is kind of crazy. But we've been having a good time. Even though this hotel is like boof, um, everything outside of that has been like super nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fit. They put us in these EHP Labs tops yesterday and they want us to wear them there. And then <clears throat> because we're going to be shooting some blessed stuff too, they have some other stuff. So this one I'm going to wear probably with like a t-shirt. I think... Paige said we're gonna stop for coffee too. I kind of want to get a matcha. Okay, so yesterday, like it was fun, and Lexi got a lot of angles on me, so I need to focus on her today. But it was because I was doing a little workout type video with Oxy Shred behind the scenes and stuff, y'all. Like they can rub oil on you, they can spray you with water to make you look like you want to sweat. It, we were already in Texas heat. I was not looking to be any more damp and wet than I already was with just sweating in general. I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna work out. And he was like, okay, like obviously it needs to be real. Like when you're working out, go tell failure, da 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 da. I was like, child. So I literally hit a whole workout. Like I was telling everybody, I was like, I should've put my Apple Watch on. I was not ready for this. And it was super fun, but like, um, I'm pretty sure everybody else, like, it was just more, like, low-key. Like, it was just a lot of, like, photos and stuff. So, I was just out here, like, doing the most and dying. I allowed Lexi to get a lot of content of me, which was good for y'all to see, like, kind of like the BTS. That was kind of what the day looked like. And it was a good first day, but, like, being out in this heat, I feel so much more fatigued than I feel like I, like, normally would be. So, even though it's, like, two or three by the time we get done, I'm, like, I'm out. So, I think that's kind of why they moved the team dinner today. I mean, that might not be the reason, but either way, I'm not mad about it. And then, But, yeah. They're still trying to get our flight changed because it's just more expensive to do it tomorrow. But Lexi and I literally said we would fly back on Spirit. I do not give a fuck. It's a two-hour flight. Like, I need to get back. I just... There's absolutely no point for us to be here till Thursday, especially when we have a nine hour gap of like nothing to do, nowhere to stay. It was like, <laughs> this girl was like, I'm a commercial gym nine <clears throat> and an alpha land five. Okay, so we're gonna finish getting ready and then we will catch y'all when we are meeting up with everybody at the Uber. I know you want me Every day not only when you're lonely yeah. You see you think you know me But you don't even know nothing about me yeah. You see my thick life Lost when you look into my brown eyes You see my little ways to make you switch sides You never know the devil in a disguise So why don't you stand up, baby? Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me Do you want me on top? So let me show you, show you, show you I don't need to back it up Okay, you guys, we made it back to the hotel. I am so tired, and team dinner is like tonight, but I'm so 
tired. But he's getting like nice and dressed up and everything because everybody's going. The shoot, as you saw, it was with Hales and Sophie. And that was honestly really fun. I love the dynamic. I love that it, it was honestly just all girls. Paris, photographer and videographer kills it she kills it she makes it so comfortable because i'm like i don't know what i'm doing i don't know how to pose and she's just she's she's so good at what she does and it was just it was good it was a very long day though I ordered kava and honest never had kava i've had kava once in la so we ordered kava i'm very excited to eat that it comes about 20 minutes so i think we're gonna shower kind of relax see if we can edit some stuff whatever eat and then we're gonna go to dinner exhausted i'm exhausted Lexi just picked up the collar for us let me show y'all what we got going on lemon chicken bowl and i just honestly added a bunch of stuff into it you can kind of see i did hummus pickles the crisps um yeah i don't even know it's my first time so i just got what kind of looked good pita and we got no those are the crisps and then we also got like the little pita bread, so let me like sit up and I'll give you an overview and then I'll try it. Taste test of the sweet tea. Mmm, is it good? Yeah, you have a lot of stuff in cool. Mmm. Right? I should show them what I got. I got a pita bread. Mm-hmm. That was a pussy ass bite, Anna. I got my own bowl. That was good. I'm honestly just grubbing. Yeah, we're so hungry. Because we missed lunch because we were still shooting. Now nah, I'm fucking with this heavy. I like coffee. I ordered a... Oh, here's this. I ordered a little kava thing. I thought it was going to be homemade. It's like soft. I should have got something sweet. That was good. All right, y'all, it is day three. So you saw us go to dinner um, and that kind of ended early. Words, we went out with Nigel Kai, Paris and Paige and we just uh, chilled at like a lounge area. I don't know, it was dope. We all just talked for a couple hours. So we were out a little bit later. So they pushed the time back today. So we don't have to be there at nine. Um, we gotta be there at 10, which is, ugh, cause we literally got back at 1 and I was like, I cannot. I think Paige and, Paige and Dan were trying to figure out our flight situation, so hopefully that gets figured out today. Lex and I really want to leave tonight or tomorrow morning. I just got a lot to do with editing this video, getting it up, and then I have my hair appointment all day Sunday. Lexi's going home, so like, and then I have like a little movie date on Friday with Devin, so it's just like trying to balance a lot of stuff this weekend and then literally next week we have to start packing because we move just a lot of stuff coming up so it makes sense we're gonna figure it out and i'm really excited for today it looks a little bit more cloudy than what it's usually been because we'll be back at alpha land not at the airbnb so today will be fun i feel like lexi and i like after the first day first couple of days we kind of know what to expect when it comes to the organization the shoot everything like that because it really does vary each day but not even that per brand so i think we got the hang of everything and i'm really excited because paris has been like our home girl the whole t like i'm telling you guys you need to check her stuff out it is so good she just has an eye like she's like no that's all i'm like girl you're holding the camera i'm not like i'm just standing here you're capturing these moments and she's just she's so nice like i've never been so comfortable with the photographer videographer like we literally knocked everything out so quick yesterday because she was just that girl like she just nothing was forced it was all natural like we weren't sitting here like 
holding the oxy shred like maybe like some pose pictures but she's like that just looks too fake like be real that's the update and then lexi went and got some chick-fil-a breakfast we're good, probably gonna get some stuff at alpha land to eat too it's actually a really good food they have meal prep all that like they were bougie with it um i might get some there but we're gonna try this out because i've never had chick-fil-a breakfast we got chick-fil-a breakfast Anna has never had Chick-fil-A breakfast, and that baffles me. But Lexi and I have fi go. finished getting ready, so we're going to head day, out. Dan says he's like, I'm running late. Once <laughs> And over to Alpha Land. Some of the content we were shooting, none of the products are new, so we can, um, well, some of them are, but uh, for the most part, we can share that with y'all. So it was probably like a cool little edit or something, but Lexi and I are going down. Oh, Lexi and I are going down, and we have like a little like gym content thing to shoot, and then I think we're done, but we still don't know our flight situation, so <laughs> I think you missed it. We didn't walk this much, did we? Do you know what? I, okay, <laughs> we missed it. Oh, um, but yeah. Little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so if you guys couldn't tell, we're at the airport. Um, we're leaving. We're booking our own flight because it just didn't work out on their end. Um, but we talked, and moving forward, we're gonna talk about our flight situations with them. Like, yeah, we was, needed to go home. It today. was on. It was on a both end type B with um that kind of thing, but. Yeah, we're going home. I'm exhausted and I have a lot of shit, so although it was fun, I can't really dwell on it. <laughs> yeah. We got back from the shoot. Hey, by the way, we got Alfredo from Alphaland. Probably one of the best pastas I've ever had. That literally was, though. I don't know if it was, if I was hungry or what, but I literally... Probably both. It was so good, though. Like, felt on the way back because Lexi and I paid for it. <laughs> but anyways... Yeah, we're pretty tired. Um, yeah, after the shoot, we just kind of talked with Paris for a little bit because everybody else had flights to catch. So we were also like, um, like we were also like literally the only people there besides her. She left tomorrow. So, I mean, there's that into it on why it just really didn't make sense for us to stay. But I'm um, happy to be going back because we got a lot of exciting stuff going on. Like, I like traveling. I like that I get the opportunity, but we have to set up stuff for like, we got to pay the movers. We got to put in our rental insurance, pay first month, pay your security deposit, pack our whole apartment. I got my hair appointment on Sunday. Okay, but that's going to be nice so you don't have to do that. Yeah. So just like a whole lot than usual like normally we wouldn't be this particular about heading home unless something happened Like tomorrow actually would have been nice But yeah, realizing it we could have got lunch with the Johnson. I mean actually we're just, worked out at Apple. We're but. just so like I'm just so stressed Yeah, we're just heading home. Bo is actually picking us up <laughs> Not Devin and Bo. Lexi's pretty hype about that Works a lot and he lives like an hour away from us. So that's why you don't be seeing him like that. Did Devin go back down then? No. He still at the apartment? He's working. Today? Yeah. Smack the f*** 